Hi, I'm Stuart J. Perlman, and welcome to Stuart J.'s Lens. Last week, I introduced you to Annie Royer. This week, I'm going to complete that discussion, and I hope you enjoy this real tale of small business in McKinney. And at a certain point, I, I looked at it all and I went, I also need to give back to the community. And uh, all of those books and all of those degrees, I have a terrific library of art history books and just tomes upon tomes and boxes full of notes and a head full of knowledge. I thought, I gotta give up, I gotta give back. And I just need to lecture somewhere. And so. I went to um, Barbara Johnson at the Herc Craig Center and I said, can you give me a room and let's see if we can build an audience. And she said, you are just what we've been looking for. I can't pay you. I said, that's okay. Katie Hurd, the Hurd family, helped pay for my scholarships at Austin College. This is my gift. So I feel like I'm, I'm touching all bases and I've got an, a, 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 we started a nonprofit's Arts and Music Guild, that's developed. It's all about, you know, it's all about what do you, how do you find yourself in the fabric of community and that gives to you and you give back to it so you can live as an artist. I have uh, classes every week and during the summer um, I have a sort of a flexible schedule so people can make it the times their own and it can become very intensive. And I have also in the summer I teach uh, fundamental camps and a teen camp at the Art House. I love to work with Sana Knox and that's at arthousetx.com. But here in the studio, summer and then all through the school year, an amazing sort of thing happens. Um, the kids come in all ages and adults and they work for about two and a quarter to two and a half hours. Um, the older kids, the more uh, intense that they want to be, they can come in more than once a week. But they come in and during that time, they paint, they can work with clay, they can do printmaking, they develop and I critique them. And over the course of a two or three year period, I mean some of my students I've had for ten years, they go off to college and get art scholarships. That's just all there is to it. They're very highly trained. But it's the repetition, it's the every week, it's the, it's the um, every week, every month, for two or three years and they paint. They can paint. They really can. The drawing comes in, the whole sense of, of, of critique and self-critique, the, the atmosphere here is really affirming. Um, I'm blunt honest in what I say. A lot of my students, the teenagers I hear from their moms and dads say, yeah my kid loves to work with you because they know that you won't tell them if it's good if it's not. And if it's not good you'll tell them how to make it better. It's another interesting thing to see a whole bunch of kids suddenly, they, after about 20 minutes after school, they're, they're in the first 20, 30 minutes, they're, they're chaotic, they've got to get their stuff, they've got to get everything done, they've got to get put together, they've got to have their snack, they've got to talk, 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 because they haven't been able to, and then about 30, 40 minutes into a class, we like dead silence, and all I hear is brushwork, going <laughs> brushes on the camera. Last summer, I had five units of kids and parents coming in and painting together. And this studio was, it was just amazing. This was a family thing. Have you ever served on a committee in, in yes. McKinney? What is, yes. Tell me what you've done. Arts Commission, that was, uh, I served on two or three years and, uh, and I learned a lot. What does a city need to do to keep their artists, to nurture their artists and to bring more artists so that we can all have a part. Artists bring a lot of color and interest and give. Well, the Arts Commission, since I got on it, has really morphed and taken off, and it's been, it's great. I served my time and then graciously, uh, or gracefully, uh, stepped off because I wanted to help the art club put on a true a bona fide juried art show with some very good judges. I did that last year. Uh, then I thought, um, we, there need to be some changes in how artists, or, or excuse me, there need to be some platforms for artists and musicians to connect. 
And about that time, I started putting together the Second Saturday Art Poster, uh, which is just its a low-budget way of telling the community at large, here's an artist, that's the artist that I choose, is going to be on the top, here's an artist that lives in McKinney, or I've, I've broadened it, comes and plays on McKinney's turf. We'll claim this artist as our own. And then here are all the businesses that have, now I've included music, here's all the businesses that have arts and music events. So that little poster goes out once a month, and some people contribute to it, and it's great. And that's just a part of the gift. And Hamilton Doak, who owns Orison's, where actually I, I, I now work about, I work just a modicum of hours, but it has been great working with a gallery where I'm giving free reign to communicate with artists because nobody else really knows how to do that as well as an artist would. So I am the artist liaison and I kind of help coordinate events. And so Hamilton, uh, I said something about the jury show and he had supported that one and then it was like, well, let's do something bigger. And so he really pulled together uh, a vision that Don Day had for art in the Performing Arts Center downtown and my vision for extending the juried art show way beyond Collin County and, and, and yet having it be something where it's regional. So we're developing a regional art collection here in McKinney and it was privately funded and Hamilton Doak and Don Day and Geraldine Kiever and, and Mara Kiever and uh, the Bushes and, uh, and other people that I should, oh Sherry Tucker David and her husband, I mean, there are a couple of others that I just can't name off fast enough, but they all pulled their resources and it, it was last weekend, it was a fabulous event. We, the reason I could do that and say yes, I can do this is because I have um, all these volunteers that are part of a little organization that me and a couple of friends started called the Arts and Music Guild, and it's a nonprofit. And my motto is, you know, it's a nonprofit. If you want to do something, here are all the volunteers. They've all put in their 25 bucks just to be able to volunteer and to get to do things together. We don't have any monthly meetings, but we put together events where artists, and oftentimes we did Music in Motion last year. We'll bring it back probably next year where artists and musicians can work together on the same, in the same venue. And that is so much fun. Oh my gosh. This studio is such a delightful place. I'm really blessed to have it. And uh, people love to come and see it. And I just want everyone to know that in November, the second Saturday of every November, is the Art, McKinney Art Studio Tour. And I'm, I am always on that. And it's two days where you can file through about 25 art studios in McKinney. And I always have a, I generally have a class and some of my students painting through the thing and I talk, 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 nothing new there. And people file through my house and see all the paintings and things that I do and come in the studio. And I just want to welcome everybody again this coming November. If you think you have a story to tell, send me an email. But I have to tell you up front, it better be good.